And here is the moment of truth. Let's see. Taking the packing material out. Looking in. Hello, sports card fans, wrestling collectors. This is Tom from Collector Wrestlepalooza. Today I am returning to the mailbag. Believe it or not, I only have one box left. What's going on? I haven't been buying enough stuff. If you've watched my channel before, you know that I collect a stack of boxes, envelopes, parcels, and I open them on this channel. We'll open them together. Uh, but today I only have one box. It does say priority mail as opposed to media mail. I'm hoping it's a VHS. I'll tell you the story in a second, but let's get to it. Let's open the box together. Collect a Wrestlepalooza. Collect a Wrestlepalooza. So here's the story. I went on to eBay, I went on my eBay, and I looked at the items that I've bought in the last six months. One of them, which is a very special item, I haven't opened yet. And I said, oh my God, it delivered back in March, and I haven't opened it. And it is a WWF sealed Coliseum VHS with Hulk Hogan on the cover. It's one of the old clamshell best of the WWF Coliseum videos. You know that I love the clamshells, I love the Coliseum videos. It's so much nostalgia for me. Back when I started collecting wrestling again in 2021, buying a sealed clamshell was a grail. They don't actually come in plastic, but there's a little silver tab or a little silver sticker, I should say, that's on the side of the clamshell video that keeps it affixed uh, before you'd open it, and that's what would be on the retail shelf. You never saw them on the old uh, WWF VHS Coliseum releases, the WrestleManias, the best of the WWF, etc., etc. And if you did find them, they were thousands of dollars. Well, prices have come down. I've bought a couple of them. I have one that's Boopers, Bleeps, and Body Slams, which is WF01. I have that one sealed. And then this is the second one that I've purchased, which is the best of the WWF. I forget which volume, but it's got Hulk Hogan on the cover. So I am hoping that's what's in this box. Box. Let's open it right now. If this does not contain that VHS, then I don't know where that VHS is. But like I said, this doesn't say media mail. Usually VHSs are sent via media mail, so I'm hoping that this is the clamshell. So let's open it up, breaking the seal. And here is the moment of truth. Let's see, taking the packing material out. Looking in, indeed. This is the one. So they just sent a priority mail, probably because it was a more expensive item. They did it the priority mail instead of the media mail. But take a look at this beauty. Best of the WWF Volume 11 Coliseum video. And then if you look at the side, you can see that that sticker is intact. There is some people that, you know, tried to peel it off, but they never actually opened it. They never slid it on the side. And that sticker does say A&H Video, uh, who did distribute these old VHS uh, WWF Coliseums back in the day. This is in really nice condition. Uh, one thing I don't like is when this outer material flexes and bows. I'm guessing that's changes in temperature or changes in atmospheric conditions. Uh, I'm not as concerned with that on most VHSs because uh, theoretically you could actually change and use a different uh, clamshell and then the same slip cover which is uh, removable from the case. So the case is just a black case that's generic. But in this case, or pun intended, because it has the sticker on the side, I'm a little more concerned with that. But it is an amazing copy. I, it, these never come up and I could afford it. And it has WWF uh, GOAT legend Hulk Hogan on the cover. So uh, to me, this is a grail. This checks off so many boxes and I'm holding it. I'm smelling it. It doesn't have a smell to it. Sometimes they have a little bit of a must, which uh, actually is not very good, but it reminds you of the old video stores. Um, this one does not have a smell, which I guess is actually better. So let's take a look at the matches on the back. Uh, World Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Hulk Hogan teams up with the unpredictable Rowdy Roddy Piper, uh, who was a face at times back in the day, uh, against King Harley Race and Paul Mr. Wonderful Orndorff, a uh, fellow who doesn't get the acclaim that he should, a great worker from back in the day with their manager Bobby the Brain Heenan, the GOAT, uh, both as a manager and as an announcer, in my opinion. Uh, makes you realize how terrible announcing is today if you go back and listen to some of the old Bobby the Brain and Gorilla Monsoon 
uh, commentary. It is amazing and it makes the match, it makes the event. Uh, you don't miss it till it's gone, but when it is gone, you do miss it, uh, such as myself. Uh, the tuxedo match between Mr. Fuji and Hillbilly Jim. Uh, the jungle fight between Kamala the Ugandan Giant versus George the Animal Steel. A six-man tag team elimination bout with Junkyard Dog, uh, Roddy Piper, and Ricky Steamboat versus Randy Savage, Adrian Adonis, and King Harley Race, uh, and so much more. So best of the WWF, Volume 11, uh, it's released and distributed by Coliseum Video in New York, New York, looking for a copyright, uh, XXXVII, that must be 1987, uh, just doing some quick math in my head, and just take a look at this, folks, this is what you would purchase, it hasn't been opened, it's got a minty fresh tape inside, beautiful big clamshell from 1987, WWF Coliseum, uh, Volume 11, Best of the WWF. And that does it for this week. Like I said, there's only one box because I only had one box left to open. I gotta buy more stuff. Uh, I've seen a lot of overpriced things on eBay recently, a lot of slabs selling for uh, probably more than I'm willing to pay. Uh, in the current market, I'm not willing to pay top dollar, so I'm looking for steals. Uh, and I do have some stuff that I see every once in a while that I bid on, but I haven't been buying as much as I have in the past. So uh, cheer me on, I, I need to buy some more stuff. Let's uh, get this rolling or I should say let's keep this rolling. I do plan to post more mailbag videos uh, and I do plan to buy more wrestling merchandise. Uh, if you do want to support this channel in the meantime, I do post new videos every week, every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, also, you can always subscribe, like this video, uh, let me know what you think, leave a comment, but more importantly, have fun in your own collecting hobby, treat each other well, happy collecting. Collect a wrestle palooza. Collect a wrestle palooza.